All right, 60 second summary for the new Heatran Matang deck. Because I wanted to create a unique deck that no other YouTuber had featured, I decided to focus on the new Heatran from Twilight Masquerade, which does 50 damage for each energy attached to it. But then that jerk for the win took my idea and made a video about it. What he's done is unforgivable, unless he DMs me some feet pics. I mean, I'm only human. Anyways, Heatran can take huge one-hit KOs at the cost of discarding every energy attached to it. Matang accelerates the energy, but losing the energy after every attack is a huge problem. I tested a few different builds and learned that the deck doesn't really function without Bastu Legion. Heatran discards energy, Bastu Legion does more damage for each energy in your discard pile, then puts it all back into your deck. One doesn't work well without the other. Bastu Legion is by far my favorite way to play Heatran, but you can always chuck a Heatran or two in the Dialga V-Star build, effectively replacing Zamazenta. It can be a great one prize sweeper, as you'll see in the third game against Toad's Cruel EX, where I was slightly distracted throughout. I mean, you can't blame me, my toes are literally right there. I mean, the Heatrans aren't really that important, because... I mean, they don't survive and amp you very much, so I just basically have to keep pace. They're gonna knock out my Beldum, most likely... Okay. If they can't knock out my Beldum with an Ampu very much on turn two, then we have a very... Yeah, the watery new catchphrase. This this could be a thing. Oh, that's actually huge. Uh, okay, so we go... Beldum Basculin. And then I... Energy. Retreat. Uh, is that huge, though? Like, would I rather they just take the knockout? Because they're going to have, you know, a, a bajillion retreat cards. Is it worth wasting my bosses to have them retreat and then I just get boned anyways? I mean, I, ha I have to maybe buy myself a turn. So let's go Greninja Heatran. And we'll just see how this goes. Like, obviously, I'd like another Basculin, but we have to go... Like, I could have gone Greninja Basculin instead of the Heatran. Okay, that's... Oh, no, they got it. Yep, see, I... They had four boosters, like, four Arvin, probably two Switch cards. So, it was, it was kind of dumb, but I was just like, the upside was too high. Uh, actually... Actually, hang on, they got greedy. Did they get greedy? They didn't go for an Iron Crown on that. They didn't go for an Iron Crown turn one and they're getting punished for it. I don't think I'm going to have enough energy in the discard pile to knock out the Maridon, but they're getting punished. Uh, okay, so this is, this is fine. They also don't have a retreat... Oh, this is beautiful! So, we go... Boom. We go for a... Uh, yeah, I want to put all the energy in the discard pile, and then... The prize to Matang. God, the prizes with this deck are painful. And for Elaine, yes, I was, uh, I was invited to be on a podcast hosted by a certain scammer. Okay, there we do have the knockout. And... Uh... Yeah, we just, we Metal Maker to the Heatran. Albusto. Uh, so yeah, a certain Stammer goes by the name Gazer Beam. Okay, actually, do I? Yeah, I need to have all of them. So that's perfect math. The last game, we were one short energy every time. This is perfect math. Oh, God, don't want that. Don't want that. And then I got ghosted. So yeah, there was a certain podcast. I was invited to be on it. We, we had, oh, okay. We had things set up, and it was all going according to plan, and then they ghosted me. So, if you're ever wondering, is does Gazer Beam get the benefit, these nuts, of the doubt? No. Gazer Beam is the worst. It, well, technically it was Stu Ben's fault, but we're going to blame Gazer for that one, okay? We're going we're gonna to blame Gazer. So, do you, do you see how much different this deck is right now when you put the Bastion Legion in there? We just took a knockout without ever putting our Bastion Legion in harm's way. And it's like, I have five energy on my Heatran already. I mean, that was, that was, that had less to do with Bastion Legion. 
Um, well, this this is this is a little concerning. <laughs> this is slightly concerning, but it's okay because they're gonna go for an amp you very much. I am currently ahead on prizes, even though that won't matter. No, they're ahead on prizes. This is why I didn't want to get rid of that bosses. But they basically have to loop three hands. They have to loop three hands or else they don't win. That's not going to do it. So they have to... The future booster on this Iron Hands is probably going to cost them the game. Because I almost assuredly... Almost assuredly... Can win the game. Because they're just going to run out of energy. Or run out of uh, Iron Hands. So I think we don't use the research. As weird as that sounds, I think we don't use the research. Um... Oh, God. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, yep, I think we still don't use the research. I think we uh, just steel burst. We have to be very careful here that we don't over discard. We don't do anything too crazy. This is this is not great. Uh, wait, is Iron Crown weak to... Okay, there's a Matang. Perfect. Sweet to dark, not metal. Okay. So I think we win now. Even if they target one of my Matang. I mean, that would suck. But we have another one. Okay, so they're powering up the Maridon. I believe... Like, if they target the Heatran with the energy, I think that's perfect. Because then I can just Iono uh, the energy back into the deck. And then maybe find, like, a Buddy Buddy... Oh, this is perfect. Unless they play... Count well, unless they have a Counter Catcher. I know they play Counter Catcher. Catcher, I hardly knew her. Okay, don't don't do it. And Rocksteady, and this is a boomer crowd. You know, boomers are between John Wayne and Carmen San Diego. And then we're the perfect age for Adam Sandler 1990s movies. And then we're also the perfect age to be sad about Adam Sandler's downfall. So yeah, they know that as soon as this Iron Hands gets knocked out, they lose the game. They should what they should have done is because they discarded the lost vacuum with that research, right? They discarded a lost vacuum with the research. They should have lost vacuumed the future booster and then researched and hoped to find a heavy baton. Though if they get knocked out via burn, that doesn't matter. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> if they get knocked out by burn, then it doesn't matter. And they would have gotten knocked out by burn. So yeah, the, it wouldn't have mattered because heavy baton is knocked out by damage. So that wouldn't have mattered. Um, okay. We have three Matang. We only need two energy. What is the correct order of operations? We Matang first. Boom. Game. See? Adding the Bastille Legion changed the entire complexion because we were able to put all that energy back into the deck. Um, I guess we go concealed cards because I may use research here. Uh, never mind. We're using Iono because we have a Bastille Legion. Oh no, do I use research? Because we're gonna take a huge KO. Actually, no, no, I can't I can't be greedy. <laughs> I was like, we could put like 20 energy on this thing <laughs> and and then have the Bastille Legion. But then if I have all my energy in the discard pile, we definitely okay. Alright. Then we definitely, definitely lose. Yeah, we should be worried. But I told you, the Bastille Legion is the difference maker. You switch to the Bastion Legion build, that just fixes all of the problems with Heatran having too much energy in the discard pile. You can you can use Greninja as much as you want, you can use Ultra Ball as much as you want, you can research as much as you want, and those cards actually help the deck instead of hurting them. So it's like, if you research away both of your Super Rod turn one with the Bastion Legion list, it doesn't really matter. It's like, oh no, I I have to use Upstream Spirits to get all my energy back, that's fine. So their win condition here is retreating into Iron Crown. Or not. <laughs> I was going to say, their win condition is retreating into Iron Crown. Or knocking out my Heatran. Good God. Okay, so we have to get our Bastion Legion here. And Rocksteady, I like your thinking. Okay, so... I thought they would have had to go for an Iron Crown victory. Uh, I shuffled the deck, so we have three cards 
to get either a Bastu Legion, an Ultra Ball, or a Research. We have the top three cards of our deck. We have like seven outs. Okay, so then that is... Oh, yeah, 100% we go for the Matang. We thin the deck with Matang first. We Oh, this is, this is crazy. Okay. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready for this insane, insane line of play right now? You've never seen this before. This is an insane line of play that I can't believe I'm doing, but this is actually the correct way of doing things. Uh, it doesn't matter what I'm sending to the bottom because we're going to be super rotting the Bastion Legion back in. But obviously, if I was paying attention to what we were super rotting back in, I could have I could have mathed my way to victory and been like, this is what the last card in my the next the percentages of this card being in the top of my deck are 20 to 1. Why not just Greninja? Yeah, <laughs> why not, right? That would be great. And we got the research. Okay, we got the research. We just, next seven, next seven Bastion Legion, GG. We even got the Ultra Ball, Upstream Spirits, more like up the butt, because we just destroyed Iron Hands. So yeah, if you're facing a multi-prize deck, you can win with this. You just need Bastion Legion. So Iron Hands, not bad unless they get Baton Baton. If they go Baton Baton, that sounds like perfect French right there. If they go Baton Baton, then they can win, but if they can't go baton baton, then uh, you win. Okay, so this is not just the thorns list. This is uh, the typical future list. Unless they wanted to get spicy and just went regular iron thorns and chucked in a handy. Gave themselves a handy, but it doesn't look like they've done that. Okay. Busted top deck, by the way. I do want to play a bit of a longer game here, so that is perfect. Putting 150 on the thorns is great. So, wait. Oh, right, it has a rule box. Damn you, Iron Thorns. Well, you're not long for this world anyway, Iron Thorns. That's the problem with going autopilot so many times. Right, the button's just right there. You go autopilot, you forget that, you know, Radiants have a rule box. And people are saying that Mahone's list for Dragapult is the best they've seen. Yeah, I 100% agree with Radiant Charizard. Neo Upper, I think, is good. You know, the Zatu is is awkward. You know, just having Neo Upper, having... Oh, two Mela is good. So, yeah, I think Mahone... Yeah, it's, it's just... That's how it's done, right? That is how it's done, is Kieran's good. That allows you to knock out Iron Thorns and Iron Hands. Oh, they got a burn, dude. Not that it matters, because <laughs> you have to put three energy on the Heatran. And for the win, my favorite is when PDCGL glitches out and goes back to the old animation. But that animation for the win is for any new energy acceleration. And did you see my tweet that you're not going to be able to record a video on Monday? Aren't you excited about that? Okay, so... We gotta go... Yeah, I think we just... Yeah, we have to conceal cards. We're probably not going to be able to do anything good this turn, to be honest. Yeah, again. <laughs> they're, they're doing maintenance again. Okay, so let's just... Let's see if we get two energy here. I highly doubt it. Oh my god, this deck is cracked. I am insane. Yes, there's more mains because we got the Summer Bash on Tuesday. We got the Summer Bash coming on Tuesday. So we get rid of that. We go for... Oh, wh what the hell is PDC... What is going on? Why is PDC Jail glitching out? Well, we know because PDC Jail is... Oh, I can't... I can't click anything. I... I can't do... Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's the burn anima... The burn animation. Okay, so I can't select... I can't select Matang. I can't select Heatran. I can select Basculin, Basculegion, and Beldum. <laughs> uh, I think we go for Basculin. Oh, God. So I couldn't select, like, half of the Pokemon. That's cool. <laughs> great, great game. So ready for the first anniversary next week. So, I guess the burn animation 
wrecks things. Oh, that's that's cool. You know, I'm used to the not being able to select one card. This is a new you can't select uh, three cards. And Ace Wayne, yeah, so I guess it must be like the new effect of burn or something, right? Am I going to the pool party? I already got my beach court. I think somebody said, wouldn't it make more sense to give away festival grounds? <laughs> but it's a summer bash. It's not a festival. It, it would have made more sense to give us festival grounds, but they're giving us a, a beach court. So you get a gold, you get a gold beach court. So yeah, I, I would assume it was the burn animation that caused that because the game was also glitching out. It wasn't just, you know, oh, the usual, oh, one of these cards you can't select. It was, no, the whole game was glitching out. Ah, uh, they're going for Matang. That's actually not terrible if they go for the Matang. Because I, I have so much energy in the discard pile. <laughs> All right, so Ampu very much isn't great, but if I if I can get a Bastion Legion, then we are in there. So let's put up the Bastion in. We're gonna go for a Beldum. Okay, that's unfortunate. We're gonna go for a Beldum. How many discard cards do I have? I have three Ultra Balls. So I think. I mean, it's it's tough here what the order of operations should be. I think we go over Greninja first. Because if we get a research, then that's insane. Uh, oh no, we still don't have it though. No, because if... Oh no, wait, yes we do. Yes we do. If I get one energy in a Bastion Legion, we have it. Oh baby. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so watch. Are you, are you ready for this? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this? Retreat into the Bastion Legion, 240 KO, Matang to the dude. Yeah, I mean, free tropical beaches, all they have to do is just add them to your account. Look at this. 240 with... How do, how are you not playing this with Bastion Legion? You have to play this with Bastion Legion. Uh, if they target my Matang, we are definitely screwed, though. But it's the same... It's the same time as... It's the same thing as we played the last Iron Hands player. Where they just, they have to get a baton on their second handy. Okay, that's good, because we can get our, we can get our dudes. I am very low on attackers, though. And, to be fair, Bastion Legion is more impressive than Heatran. But Heatran discards the energy to power up the Bastion Legion. So that's the thing. The Heatran powers up the Bastion Legion. Are they going to go for the knockout with Volt Cyclone? Because they want to prevent my Greninja? I am a okay with that. <laughs> if you wanna, if you wanna keep Iron Thorns in the active to prevent my Greninja from discarding one, oh crap! Don't go for Matang. Don't go for Matang. They went for Matang. Okay, so we need to get three energy. Because there's no way we're getting 12 energy back in the deck. So we need to get 3 energy off of this. And it's not... I mean, we're going to get an energy... Ooh, okay. So we need to go Hyper Aroma, get all of these dudes out of here. We have 15 energy in the deck. Okay, I think we go Ultra Ball away. The Heatran and the Research... Uh, we get the Beldum, okay, and then, I mean, if I knew what we were going to get off the research, that would change things. Yeah, we just got a Heart of the Cards, three energy. Oh my god! <laughs> heart of the Cards, baby! And they got no, they got no more, they got no more dudes. So, we, uh, we go, we put the Bastion Legion down. We research, uh, no, we don't research. We conceal cards first because we want to get a million energy in the discard pile. So if they Iono me, so we're going to have seven. Their only attacker is the Iron Thorns, but they could get the Maridon. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Because, yeah, we have more researches in the deck. Oh, 
You know, we've had like half of the games have been we're one energy short, and then the other half of the games is we get the perfect energy. So yeah, I can't sing Bastion Legion's praises enough. But you're seeing like you're saying, oh, Bastion Legion's better. But no, they they go toe in toe. They go foot in foot. Right? This is not a, oh, Bastion Legion's better than Heatran. It's no, they they pair well together. They're like peanut butter and toes. Uh no, Scizor is not good in this deck because it's another stage one. So like yeah, Scizor would be good if you cut out the Bastion Legion. But then it's just like, you don't need Heatran, you don't need Matang. Then it's just like, why not just put a Scizor in like a Charizard deck or a Scizor in, you know, uh, in this or something, right? So yeah, Scizor is a good card. Oh, I knew that was going to happen, but they don't have... One, we're doing 160. So they have to attack with the one on the bench. No, don't do... No! They got it! Okay, this is fine. This is fine. They're going to be burn. And I can retreat off an energy. Is that going to be enough? You know, my deck is designed... Like, they had... They had 7, 10... They had 11 energy of their... Probably 15 accounted for. And then they hit 2 off of a Jenny. You know, at least I put 15 energy back in my deck. Uh, Cherry, Mikargo EX is not a good deck to play ever. But it can be fun if you have the right list. And Shiny Ray, if Shiny Ray's feeling nice, might share the list. Okay, so this is going to be... How risky do I want to get here? I think I have to... Because we can't use the Greninja. So I think we go Matang. Because then if I hit two energy off the Matang... And they flip tails, then we win. Oh, everything, everything is lining up. Everything is lining up right now for us to win. Okay, Ultra Ball for Ultra Ball. Just two energy, two energy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is, this is amazing. I, I played this game so perfectly. Like, you must be, your jaws must be on the floor around your toes with how amazing I've played this game. Like, uh, uh, like how how wet are your feet right now after watching this? Wait, did the did the shuffling animation just screw up and show the cards naked without the sleeves? And Evan, that was a great game. I got all I got all of them. I got all of them, Evan. I got your hands. You know, you got my feet. That was amazing. Uh, why did I attach to the active? Oh, no, because it's not getting knocked out. So, but yeah, like anytime I try to put in a GLC list or an expanded list, it's like 23 cards. So it's just, yes, we can play GLC, we can play expanded, but it's about finding the GLC and expanded cards that actually work in Twinleaf right now because they're, they're slowly adding cards. Like when they fully launch the game, it's going to be fully ready for launch. But as we're in the closed beta, it's, it's not. And like another thing... Another really big thing is that we didn't see that, you know, when, when you all saw my stream, I know you all saw my stream with Twinleaf, you can, you can collapse the side. So I didn't know that you could collapse the information on the side to increase the play space. And they just said, oh yeah, we're going to fix that to make it more easy to see. Um, Silent Hill 2 launches on October 8th. Until, yeah, we know that Until Dawn's coming to PS5, okay? You don't need to tell us that. Dynasty Warriors Origins next year. God of War Ragnarok on PC in September. Good luck, Chuck. Great movie featuring Dane Cook. All right, so let's go. What? Uh, yeah, we just kind of gotta, we just kind of gotta go for the Greninja and let, let the bell, let the bell them just uh, take a hit here, take one for the team. Okay, that's pretty good. Ah, 
Yeah, I think we bosses this guy and just go dig claws. Maybe no, I should have I should have brought up an ogre pawn and just been like, yeah, if you if you get the uh, acceleration and the attach, but they can also just retreat it easily. Is Dane Cook from Canada? You're about to make me look up information I really don't care about, aren't you? You're gonna make me look up information that is useless. American. He's American. So I think the Dialga is not good here. <laughs> Just gonna go out on a on a limb and say the Dialga is probably not good in this instance. Because we weren't able to get it up and running early. Yes, every, to to people in Canada. Uh, oh, we're gonna take an order with Iron Tackle. We're going for the Iron Tickle here. Uh, okay, so do we Dialga? That is the question. Uh, you know what? I think the Dialga is surviving. I am. I'm. I'm taking. Uh, taking a chancey here. We're gonna get two energy. We have the knockout with Beldum. Obviously, we're gonna lose a bunch of energy in the process. But we, we got the knockout with Beldum. And then we just... We save the Iono. We go concealed cards. We got this. How how confident am I that they're not knocking out the Dialga? Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so we go... We go attach. And... Iron tackle... And Spencer, that was pretty good, but I think your previous pun was better. Yeah, to uh, to Canadians, everyone in the United States is South American. Just want to point that out. It really makes you think. Uh, but yeah, if Rising Sun has a counter catcher or a bosses, then we're screwed. And hey, the uh, where, where did where did Nuzlocke go? I said for Nuzlocke that I'd give you codes if you just thank thank the bus driver. All right, let's pick the winner of the giveaway. It's David. Oh, phew. It could have been I Am Legend, and you had the counter catcher. All right. Well, that's not cool. That's actually kind of mean, and I don't appreciate it. And yeah, the prediction game will be back when we're on the ladder. So this this ain't no prediction game. But yeah, I'm I don't mind the Toad Scroll Ogre Pond list. It just it it doesn't auto win against Dragapult, but it makes Dragapult's life more difficult. And Lost Box, it's more difficult. It it hits pretty hard. Wait, that's not a knockout! Oh my god! Oh my god! We win this game. We literally win. Okay, we maybe don't win this game. All right, so then we go. Boom. We got to get energy, though. I still think we go Dialga energy. We take this. So. I mean, I think just taking. Yeah, we have to. Uh, we have to star Kronos. Okay, we have to star Kronos. Okay, this this might maybe we won't be able to start Kronos. Can I can I do math here and determine if okay we got two. Uh, I think we only get one though, right? Because if we're going Star Kronos, because there's no reason not to go for a Star Kronos in this situation, right? Because I can I can do the thing. We go Iono. Okay, that's that could be a boss's next turn. And then we got to go Star Kronos. Okay, and then if I okay, That's some research. Okay, we got a bosses. Okay, so who do we knock out? Is there I don't think we go for the Ursa Luna cuz that's that's fine. I think we go bosses the just one of the ogre pond. I don't I don't like this one being a different art. 
Because how much damage am I doing? 240? Yeah, so I, I wouldn't... I would have to attach another energy to knock out the Ursa Luna. And obviously I don't want to do that. And if we get another boss, is I can knock out that other Toad's Cool. That smug-looking Toad's Cool. Okay, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. But yes, for the win and I, we will be doing another Twin Leaf stream in the future. You know, maybe, maybe that's what we do on Monday. I don't know. We, you know, we, we work together. When, when Sean and I come together, nothing can stop us. Okay, so we take an Iron Tactile Knockout on the Toad Scroll and then we just win. Or no, we take, we take a beam. We gotta beam him. Okay, so we don't get rid of any energy. We don't attach any energy. We just beam. Okay? I I think, therefore, I... Ha wait. I came, I saw, I've beam? No. I don't even know if Palafin's in Twin Leaf. And Plush? I mean, you're, you're dealing with issues that have been in the game since launch. That's just... That's just part of the fun. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if if Palafin's in Twin Leaf, right? You can never really know if Palaf if a card is in Twin Leaf unless you're in the closed beta like me, unless you're cool like me. And for Elaine, I'm not falling for that again. You have to send me at least 50 cents and miss a TTS before I will TTS you. Oh, for the win. Oh, a little late for the win. I did that yesterday. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's, uh, ignore that. Ignore that. Yeah, we've, we've already covered this for the win. Trying to trying to make yourself look good. I mean, you look pretty good. I mean, you look damn good. But that's not what we're doing here. Okay, so we go Nest Ball for Heatran. How many energy are left? Four? That's not a knockout. We need our three rods. Uh, what are your resources looking like? You haven't played a single... You've played Countercatcher and... No, for the win, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, we are at 10,000 subs. It took a very long time. You'd be surprised how long it takes to get to that many subs. All right, so I think we go... Get that. Uh, is there anyone? Yeah, there's no one left to thin. This is nine... That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is uh, that is highly unfortunate. Okay, so then we go Super Rod. I think we go one, two, three. I needed to not get a Super Rod there. And then we go Metal Maker, because we, we have a lot of time, right? We have, oh God, we have a lot of time. We don't need to rush, but I also kind of need to not screw this up. Okay, so then we, if this is, two, wait, this has to be three, doesn't it? That's one. So then I think we just pass and we go Steel Burst. As long as we don't top deck in energy, I know there's a good chance that we top deck in energy, but as long as we don't top deck in energy, we should be okay. Because there's two more super rods, there's 13, 15, there's five energy somewhere, so there's at least four energy in the deck. We only need three to knock out the Toad's Cruel. Oh, crap. Okay, it's going to get burned, so we still need five. And I don't think I can... Do oh, no! No way! No way! And Furlane? You've never done a TTS... When you've said TTS? That was insanity. Okay, so now what do we do? We get six energy is what we do. Don't top deck in energy. Don't top deck. We got the super odd, baby. Okay, so we go boom. I know I have an I know I have another turn to jerk around with, but we don't do that here. 
We just go for it. I mean, I could research, but we're going to get so much energy. We're just going to go for six. We're just going to go for it. We're going to get six. Rising Sun, you're about to be... You're just about to pog all over the place. Watch, well, you can't attack next turn. Oh, I told you we were going to get it. I told you we were going to get it. So yeah, the uh, the Dialga, it is a card. And it doesn't matter, Rising Sun. Doesn't matter. None of the plays you could have made could have prepared you for Pilot to take off. I took off all over you. You had, you had no chance. You had no chance against Trust Your Pilot, the number one Heatran Dialga player. But yeah, I don't really... The Dialga is just like another stage one. It's good, but you know, if you don't get it up and if you don't get it up early, then just no one's gonna go home happy.